Well, thank you for your patience. Um, and yours for having your hand up for some time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I just went and did a bit of processing in the rooms downstairs and think that maybe I had a breakthrough, but kind of want to confirm that because it feels a little strange. Um, it's about the, the woman I was here with a few weeks ago, um, and she and I split up, and you know, we're still communicating through email and phone calls, and I've been getting a lot of really needy emails from her, which I love, of course, because it makes me feel good if she needs me. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I've kind of been trying to deal with that and realizing, you know, why... Why do I still want this? Why am I still attracting these into my life? And, and really had to deal with a lot of that. Um, but coming to the conclusion that I don't want you, and, that, and I had to repeat that a few times, I don't want you. And it's not that I don't love you, but not, you know, talking about her, but I just, I don't want you. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and that feels so wrong to say that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it was so liberating. Mm -hmm. And I realized, like, in so many relationships in the past, you know, it's like I felt this need to make the woman feel wanted, you know, regardless of how I felt about it. Yes. And um, so is, is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> what you're asking me is, is it okay to not have a desire? Isn't it? Isn't that what you're asking? So here you are, here the person, other person is, and you're saying, is it okay for me to not want to have a desire for her? And the answer is, yes, of course that's okay. But it's not okay to not love her. Does that make sense? In the sense that if we're talking about harmonious with truth and love, it wouldn't be okay to not love her. But it is okay to not want her in your life. It's okay to not want her at all. It's okay for you to not be in a relationship with her. And it's okay for her, you to decide that you don't want that particular person in your life. Why is that not okay? Of well, course, we need to look at some emotions behind it, of course, <laughs> as to what's driving it, right? And there could be some emotions of feeling like controlled by her, feeling manipulated by her, and so forth, which we would need to allow ourselves to feel. But we are, we are allowed to not want to do something. Yeah, totally. And while it might sound terrible to the rest of the audience, you are perfectly able to not want somebody. Because, like, I don't want you guys. I'm sorry, but I don't. This, this person here, <laughs> that's a different matter, right? She's my girl and, you know, this, I do want to have her in my life. That doesn't mean I feel like she has to be in my life. And Mary knows very well that she can leave my life at any time she desires. But I do desire her in my life. I desire to express my love to her, which means that for her to feel it, she'd need to be in my life, wouldn't it? But I don't want you. Thank, thank you. <laughs> so you're allowed to not want me too. And that's fine, isn't it? What's yeah. wrong with that? Well, uh, another question, would you recommend that in, I mean, the next time I talk with her, I mean, if this is what, like, the truth that I feel, like, is this something that I should communicate to her? Of course. But that will hurt. <laughs> uh, uh, why? Um, well, I mean, it will hurt her. Why? That, because she wants to be wanted. Ah, yes. She has an unloving expectation of you. Mm -hmm. And she's only hurt by her own unloving expectation. So you see, you see, what she's placing on you is she's saying, want me, want me. Want me, want me, say it. Want me, right, right? Want me. Really, like, you know, it's that love me thing. Love me, love me, say that you love me. You know, like, a lot of people will have that going on. But that is a projection of an expectation onto another person, which is actually unloving. So, of course, when you say to her, I don't want you, that she is going to feel hurt, but she's only going to feel hurt because her desire is disharmonious with love. Is your desire disharmonious with love? No. You're allowed to not want somebody. Right? So that's not disharmonious with love. But her desire to want to be wanted by you is certainly disharmonious with love. That's the irony, you see. The irony is that oftentimes we think quite the opposite. We're saying, we're saying to ourselves like, oh, if I say that to her, I'll hurt her. No, no, no. 
No, at the moment, she's hurting you <laughs> by projecting at you an unloving projection, which is not harmonious with love or truth. And up until now, you've gone along with it to your own pain. Does that make sense? To your own detriment. As soon as you acknowledge the truth, I don't want this lady, I don't want her. As soon as you acknowledge the truth to yourself, now you can disconnect from that pain because now you're in a state of truth, realizing, I don't want her. Wow, this is so liberating. I don't have to want somebody, <laughs> you know? And when you tell her, it's going to liberate her too, perhaps. She has the choice, of course. She can choose to go down the track of blaming you and getting angry with you and getting upset with you and doing all the other things, which is all denial of her own action. Or she can go down the face and say, yeah, wow, I'm in pain because I have an unloving projection at this man. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what you're doing, what you're doing by saying, firstly to yourself, I don't want her, that is perfectly harmonious with love. Both of you, self and her. Because up until now, what's happened? You've actually not said it, but you've lived in this sort of semi-relationship thing going on, right? having to give all these things you don't want to give. Is that truth? Is that loving? It's not. So now that you've recognised that I don't want her, the best thing to say to her is I don't want you. The truth is I don't want you. It feels so good for me to say I don't want you. Now, I love you, I care about you and I care about everything, but I don't want you. I don't want you in a, relation, in a relationship. Maybe down the track as a friend, maybe, right? But I don't want this relationship for whatever the reason is. And stating the truth of that is not an unloving act. It's not a loving, sorry, it's not an, yes, there's two negatives there. That is a loving act, I should say, right? Okay, so there is a loving act to say that. What hasn't been a loving act is for her to have the expectation that you want her. That's a very unloving act. And it's placed all sorts of demands on you. You have felt controlled and manipulated by those demands. And hence, you've felt quite a lot of personal pain. Is that not true? Yeah. Can you see, often, oftentimes we get ourselves so mixed up on what society accepts and what everyone else around us will accept and all that stuff. And before we know it, what's going on? What's going on most of the time is we're so far away from love that we don't even know what love is anymore. Love does not sacrifice yourself for the other person. Never, ever sacrifices yourself for the other person. It's such a hard thing to learn. We've been brought up from day dot, right? Ever since we entered this planet, we've been brought up. You're there to love somebody else. You've got a job before you began. Right? Most of us have had this job before we began. And that is we have to do things a certain way so that other people can be loved. Many of us have grown up in, in families where the parents have this emotional investment in us loving them. You try it. You just say to them, I don't love you anymore and see how they react. <laughs> or I don't love how you treat me, or see how they react to that. A lot of times you'll see what the emotional investment is.